hey guys welcome to another fabric rendering video today we are going to illustrate sheer fabrics like chiffon georgette organza organdy voil and many others sheer fabrics are see-through which means it's very translucent a single layer will be very sheer while multiple layers of the fabric will make a solid appearance. To begin with, always mark your silhouette and the drapes lightly with the pencil. As chiffon is a sheer fabric, we must note our skin rendering that is the skin below your sheer fabric will be very translucent. And you can see I have not colored the legs below my drapes yet because I want to show you that I have used Pro Marker tan shade for my original skin rendering but I will use a lighter shade than the original skin tone for the legs and the arms below the sheer fabric here. A tip I want to share with you guys is that if you are using water based medium for your garment so for the skin rendering use something which is waterproof otherwise while you are illustrating your garment everything will just smudge and here I'm using alcohol based markers which are waterproof so in further when i will be rendering the fabric things will not smudge Also for the hair, if it's behind your sheer fabric, you can add a tiny amount of detailing but not much because it will appear very translucent. Also you can see that I have kept the area near the collarbone blank that is I have not rendered the skin there because as I have mentioned earlier also that multiple layers of the fabric will make a solid appearance so i am adding a solid color for the bodycon and then i will add the drapes using watercolor to show the sheer fabric effect You can see the movement of my marker that I am adding some more lines towards the drapes. This is to show the effect of the overlapping of the drapes of my sheer fabric. So for the chiffon rendering, I will be using the violet shade from my Camel Artist Watercolor Cakes palette. Using a very thin brush and a light wash of the color, use downward strokes. I 
I have added good amount of water to the color to dilute it and always remember to work in a single direction and work in single layers I mean don't add too many strokes in a single place as this may damage your paper if you feel like you have added too much water in a place you can wipe it with a tissue paper Instead of watercolor, if you want to use water soluble color pencils, you can use that too. Just put the strokes first and then use your brush to dilute it with water and you can give similar effects just like watercolor. So always let your first layer dry and then use some more color to give more depth to your drapes and the folds. To show the effect of the drapes over my body cone, I'm using white color to give the effect of those folds. As you can see, my drapes are starting at the waist point so I am also using the strokes from that point itself and yes with the white color I am just blending it towards the knee or the leg length and highlighting my drapes as well. The key to was working with watercolor to create sheer fabrics like chiffon or georgette or any other is to work in layers as sheer fabrics appear differently at every dimension because it's very sheer and you can see white highlights or some solid backgrounds so be patient with your work but the outcome will be very beautiful Now using a pencil color of the similar shade as your base color, add some depth to the folds in your garment. There is another video of fabric rendering of sheer fabric like tool. And you can check that video out too. I have used pencil colors to show the effect of the tulle fabric. And yes, I hope this tutorial was useful enough for you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, I hope everyone stay safe and take care.